practice was good. Just uh, get out there and get get in the flow of things. Trying to get everything moving with the O line, the receivers, everything put together. Just nice to get out on the field and do it for real, uh, not just throwing routes on there. What do you even ask to focus on? You know, now that you're, you know, the first team, you know, just as the spring develops. Um, I was just asked to just take the man, uh, take control of the offense, um, just go out there and be a leader and, and make all the right reads, make the right throws, and, and uh, act like I've been there. I've been through the system. I learned it last year. Uh, they expect more out of me because I was here. I'm not a freshman. So I'm just supposed to go out there and, and demand the best for my teammates. Did we get any more attention? I mean, when, once we heard Stephen Morris wasn't playing, your name has been thrown around a lot. Have you been getting more attention from fans and people, you know, from this so far when you've been playing more? Um, I'm not really paying attention to all of that. Uh, they probably do. They hear, they're probably hearing my name now because all of Stephen's hurt, so who's the next in line? But that's not part of my focus. Let's talk about, um, obviously, the depth is an issue at receiver. So just talk about the guys that you do have and, and how they're, you know, the, how they are to work out with. Um, they did real good today, being uh, being real limited on, on numbers, but they had to push yourself, uh, set themselves new limits on what they can do. But they did good. Uh, the non-scholarship receivers definitely stepped up and filled some roles uh, with the injured players being out. Talk about the opportunity you have. I mean, uh, taking most of the snaps and just having a chance to really make an impression. Uh, yeah, it's real, real big opportunity to, to just get the reps with the, the starters and, and get a feel for everything and, and not to be running scout team and doing what the other teams are doing and just to get a feel for the offense and not just looking at it uh, X's and O's, but being able to see it in live reps. How are you approaching that? I mean, mentally, I mean, it had to be something you thought about it and how would you approach it? Uh, I'm just approaching it like, like any other, it's just football. At the end of the day, it's what I've been doing for the past 10 years. Uh, I grew up doing it, and it's, yeah, it's a different level, but it, at the end of the day, it's just football. How did, uh, how did the, yeah, yeah. I Freshman? think, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how did, uh, how do they look today? Uh, they look good. Uh, sometimes they would second guess yourself, but you get a lot of that when you're in a new offense. I know I had it when I first got here. Um, but it's a learning process. You can't expect them to come out here and make every right read because they don't know it yet. They haven't repped it. They've just seen it on the board. But for their first day, they, really, they did real good. All right, can you speak on the balance of you know, leading them and, and teaching them <coughs> things and then also worrying about your own personal success or things that you're trying to do? Um, it's not really that hard. You just want, uh, you want what's best for the team, so you're not going to push them aside and only focus on yourself because they're your competition. You want, if they're getting better, that means they're pushing you to get better. So I want them to learn it. Uh, so they can push me, and that would make the, the team better at the end. What do you need to improve on personally? I mean, out there as a player, and what do you hope to accomplish this spring? Uh, I'm just working on my leadership, uh, taking command of the team, getting them, getting them where, where they need to be, uh, studying all the playbooks, getting uh, these next installs throughout spring down, and uh, just knowing the offense through and through. Is that difficult, kind of going from like a backup role last year to more of a leadership speaking role? Uh, yeah, definitely. Last year, I couldn't <clears throat> just come out and like get on people if they weren't doing it right. I had to sit back. I couldn't be a vocal leader because it wasn't my place. I was redshirted and I wasn't playing. Um, but now, now that I'm back on the field with uh, with the first team, it's it's my job now to to take control of it. Ryan, can you talk about Kendall Tompkins? Just what you've seen from him since you've been at UM. Um. He had a real good offseason, uh, one of the harder workers at the receiver group. Um, today he had a, drop, uh, a couple drop passes, but uh, I went and talked to him, so he'll definitely be better uh, tomorrow.